Well, there is outrage over the discovery of vandalism of ancient Native American rock art in Utah County. It is on West Mountain, which actually sits on the southeastern side of Utah Lake. Fox 13's Haley Higgins looks at what's being done to preserve Utah history. The rock art actually is right up here. You have to be very careful with shale because it's really slick. The rock art up there is incredible. A member of the Navajo tribe, Eileen Quintana visits West Mountain. It's a young eagle. Oh, that's a good sign. To pray and give offerings to indigenous ancestors. When you think about it, the voices are speaking to us 10,000 years back. Their art carefully carved into the rock and still visible today. This place holds a lot of history. Yet many are being damaged by recreational target shooters on federal land managed by the BLM. Others spray painted over the rock art with swastikas and more graffiti. To tell you the truth, it does really hurt. Desperate, Eileen reached out to state archaeologists in April. You can see this image has been blasted apart right here. They took this video Monday while documenting the rock imagery on the mountain. It's absolutely heartbreaking. <laughs> the art shows how groups of people were organized, what they wore, and what they ate. We see that throughout time people loved hunting bighorn sheep. We see a lot of bighorn sheep on those rocks. Archaeologists believe most of the damage is unintentional. The shooters just may not know that the art is there, despite several warning signs that are also damaged. Eileen is also disturbed by the trash and illegal fires left behind. Despite vandalism being a Class A misdemeanor, she hopes something can be done to preserve the sacred indigenous art. We should stop the shooting because this is very important to Utah. In Utah County, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.